Well, we got the new cable. Yay! Assemble the Mexico. Not yay. Hip Harada Farm. I want to find a spot. I don't know if we want to pull that inside or just work on it outside. Beautiful day out here. Let's see, if I move that truck. Oh, when I was at the shop, uh, dealership, my buddy walked by and I said, he's like, boy, you do smell that gas. And he gave me a couple ideas to check. He thinks my uh, uh, purge system's not sucking the fumes back in. So if I had that truck, I got a dip right here in the yard. I had that truck right in here. I could work on it right there. It's not too windy, so well, I'm gonna have to move a couple of things around. See a problem here? Do you see a problem? One's bigger than the other. Gosh dang it. I had to cut that off to get that to release to, so somewhere between there and up above it was broke. Or something. So the new cable's wrong. So now I gotta go back to town. Great. I hate know-it-alls that are younger than you and think they know it all. Hell, that uh, kick down cable did not work. Won't work. And they can't find another one. The other choice is for a 6.2 diesel and one of the mechanics come in that's younger than me. I'm old enough to be his dad comes in. Well, that can't be it, then. <sighs> he says, ah, those 6.2 diesel transmissions won't run behind those gas motors. Yes, they do. Done it many a time myself. <laughs> so, but, I suppose some old timers looked at me the same way when I'd done all that stuff or whatever, so. Anyway, I've got to start issuing with my green truck. I think it's loose battery cable or dirty. Uh, and uh, so I got to go back to the farm. Can't shut the truck off because it almost didn't start the last time. Either that or the starter's going out in it. Uh, I had to go get my LMC catalogs and my other truck catalogs because all the other parts houses I've called can't get the cable. Either can't get it or it's going to take them two weeks to get it. And then they said, oh, I'll try LMC. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So, yep. I'm going to go get something to snack on. Well. Shit, now I can't remember if I told you guys. God damn it. I hate that when I do that. Anyway, at least I didn't have as bad a day as the mechanic did in town. <laughs> I think I did say that, but if I did, sorry I repeated. See, that's my problem. I can't remember what I talk about or say. Anyway, he picked up a truck on the way to work. Had a miss in it. Took it in. Changed out the plugs, wires, whatever. I don't know what all he changed. Took it out for a test drive to make sure. Miss was gone, and the next thing you know, his transmission went. When he got back to the shop, it couldn't hardly pull itself. I was like, oh man, that sucks. It's still under warranty, but hey, still. And speaking of warranty, um, if any of you got Napa tools that you break and they can't cross for a, for instance, over, find out how you get your Napa stuff warrantied now. I got my new uh, snap, uh, it's a new snap on, my new Carlisle socket, swivel socket, spark plug. What the guy says you do is when you can't cross it over, you take the new tag off the new part, put it on the old part, and use that part number for warranty. So that's how you get your tools warrantied now through Napa, if they can't cross them. So, then I see this one's almost like rebuildable. It's got a little torch and the star screws in there. It's not roll pin together so got that warrantied but uh, I gotta go out and see what's going on with my battery connection I hope that's what it is 
as truck's not start too good. So then I called the LMC. They've got the cable, but they don't do PayPal. That just took me out of the running. Uh, so, and I'm almost afraid to order. I looked in uh, classic trucks. They got a universal, but for the end that I need, they don't have, and they want sixty dollars for that. They show the picture. You can see this one with the small end, but it doesn't have the right end on the carburetor end. I'm like, oh lordy. So I gotta ask the guy if uh, I know. I can't remember if he had the transmission rebuilt that was in the truck, or if he changed it out to a three three fifty, or changed it out to another, or what. But. Uh, yeah, now his truck's tore apart and we can't even drive it. Great. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'm going to grab some wrenches, go pop the hood on mine, and see what we got out there. I don't know if I'm filming. Well, it might be okay. It's awful windy outside, so. If I film and you get a lot of wind, I'm sorry. I guess the wind ain't too bad. Let's see what you guys see. Okay. Yeah, say it ain't too bad, and here comes a gust. Imagine that, huh? Anyway, the other night, this fitting. Somebody has really scripted that the hell. Oh, well, hell. I think that's my problem. That's loose. Hmm. That's not good. Well, I gotta go find me a vice grips or something because somebody has ruined that. So, all right. Okay, I'm a farmer. I'll do the old. Uh, the old, the old. Chew it up with the farm pliers thing. Ew. Well, that might make a difference. Yep. Where's my baking soda water? Hmm. That one's been hot. All right. Well, I now know I need to clean that. So, all right, I'll, I'll get this cleaned up and hopefully it goes better after that. So, yeah, okay. Well, let's see if I can suck you into the motor. Hopefully not. Started a lot better. That started a lot better. Sounds like the alternator's charging now. You can hear it falling. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's one problem down. Poor squirrel's truck. Holy crap, does that thing smell? Mice must have not crawled off and died. They must have crawled in it and died. So I got the windows open on that, trying to air that out. So pitch now that's in the way. That's in the way. I can't move that because I got the thing out on the transmission. The kick down. And I'm waiting for that guy to call me back. So I guess. 
see what the helmeter says. Yeah. All right. Well. Yep. She spins over now. Okay, that problem fixed. Maybe I should get the keys, move the 90 up here by the shop, and see what I gotta do to fix the back brake line on that. I got some brake line material here. I think that's what we'll do. Move squirrels, truck. I really don't want to move it too far away. All right. Oh, I hate this having to move stuff around every time I need to do something. Well, we're gonna finally use this hitch on the front. Want to see what it do, how it does? I'm interested to see how she does. Never done this until now. This is the very first time. Okay, let's see if we can thread it up past the shop. Oh, that's pretty. Missed the tractor there. Yep, missed the tractor. Okay. I'm going to see if I can put air in that one tire for now. It depends on the trailer you got, I suppose, too. Well, having a flat tire probably don't help. <laughs> Gotta forget which direction I'm going. Oh, well, you guys got to be along for the first ride ever trying to do that with a. Hopefully, I had y'all in there. But uh, oh, there's my hitch. Well, here I'll show you what I got on the front. Oh, and no, I haven't got to the 90 yet. Getting sidetracked. See, right there. And I'll see that'll take air. If not, no big deal. So. All right, no luck on the cable for that yet. Look at here, got the mower moved. Check that out, is it gonna show up? Up oh, there's the moon. I've moved everything around again. I don't know, what am I doing? Got squirrel's truck, trying to freshen it up. Uh, Mouse poison ain't been messed with, but I've got a bottle of good laundry soap sitting in there trying to cover up the smell from the... Oh, it's a leaf over there. I was going to say, oh, there's one of those dead things now. I'm going to write up an ad for mother-in-law's van, the 90, cousin's old car for a demo. Uh, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Uh, my green GMC, my cousin might be interested in yet. I said I'd fix the rocker panel, cab corner, and that, and then 
So he's thinking about it a little more. Got that. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? One, two, three. Well, that'd be four vehicles. I'd be gone. I know, I want an eight foot bed so bad, but huh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. And then get squirrels truck fixed, and then I know you guys are thinking I'm nuts, but uh, I gotta find a new bed for this. The floor ain't no, the floor's beat all the hell, otherwise, I could get inner and outer sides assembled 300 bucks a piece. They're not true, but at least they want to be rusty. I don't know. Put a new motor and tranny in that thing, hell, that should go another 300,000 miles. Mowed some more, oh, yeah. I cleaned up behind here. Got the weeds all knocked down. Moved that little trailer. Well, yeah, you guys seen that, duh. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna come up in here. And I got a big open area. I've been sitting here thinking I've got rafters in there. They're 18 or 20 foot long. I'm almost thinking about coming out on this side with an addition to either put the have a place to store the interiors to these vehicles when I'm working on them and have room enough in here to do my engine building. So, but yeah, it's starting to, it just looks gorgeous out here. Wish you guys could be here. Wish I lived here. Then I'd be home. I gotta get, I think I wanna peel that OSB off, get something out with that silver side. Well, I don't know. I'm also thinking about coming out this way, 12 or 16 feet, buy me two more rafters. And go up with uh, 12 or 14 foot sidewalls here. Then that go up above this, and then this would be the area for car hoist if I ever get one. But she's turning full. I gotta get the doors finished on that. I get that finished. But, Now you drive up here, it doesn't look like this much stuff here. And most people I notice, they look when they're coming up. And by the time they look, they're not used to seeing anything back here. They look after they go past the place. So, that's okay. But uh, I want to write up some ads. I think I said that, didn't I? <sighs> My hand. So, I have no idea what this guy's going to do with that car since it's been sitting here. That's opened up. That's opened up. Where was the other spot? Well, up here under the radiator sports are starting to rotten too. And that guy needs to just count his losses on that car. But, it's kind of the same boat I am. Ain't got to pop the piss in. And... Oh, she slowed down this time. <laughs> she might have got scolded. <sighs> Shut that hood tight. <sighs> well, I'm just yakking. Oh, well, I had the door open. Took the air hose and... <sighs> oh, then I got... Took the air hose and blew the leaves out of here. That's the other thing. I've got a, about four pickup toolboxes I'm going to sell. I try to. Anyway, I guess. Yeah, it's already 10 to 7. Today the camera looks really nice and clear. And this. That's the only problem I got. I seem to get short-winded very easy. But 
Well, that tractor, I know I dumped gas in that the other day. And I don't put much in it because, you know, thieves. There wasn't nothing left in it again. And I know I had the shut off off. So I don't know where the hell it's going. So I'll tear into that little son of a bitch again. But anyway, hmm. I guess I we've done. I think we've done a lot. I don't remember what all I've done today, and that's that's the whole problem, guys. I don't like that. And gals. But anyway, I guess seven o'clock, and by the time I get this uploaded, and that it's gonna be another late night. Our mosquitoes coming out anyway, so. Anyhow, thanks for watching. They keep coming back and telling me everything's A-OK, -okay, but tell me why I can't breathe. Oh, that's right. My sleep apnea test study thing's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I'm supposed to do that tomorrow night and then return it Thursday. So, I guess. Anyhow, well, we'll talk to you later.